everyone, this is Mimi from Hoso Design. I'm one of the co-founder of this team and today I'm going to introduce you our new product, Mether. I will walk you through all the functions of this product one by one. Let's start from the first one, the laser measure. Laser measure comes in four different modes. The first one is rear edge, which calculates the lens from the bottom of this roller. Second one is the rear stand. When you pull up the stand at back, in this mode, it calculates from the bottom of this stand. And the third one is the tripod mode, which calculates distance from the middle of the tripod hole. And the last one, the front mode, takes measure from the top of the mezzer front. It also has five different units, millimeter, centimeter, inch, feet, and yard. And now I'm going to show you a real life situation where you need to measure long distance between wall to wall and compare it with the accuracy of a traditional laser measure and also the tape measure. So now I will pull up the stand to ensure its accurate measurement between the surface and place it here. As you can see, under the rear stand mode, the, the measurement is 435. And you can either cancel the measurement or send it via Bluetooth. And now let's see how the, what does the traditional laser measure say. And as you can see that we are under a meter mode and if I click measure, which is also 435. Last one, let's see how the tape measure. Because it's difficult to measure between wall to wall, so I just put the tape measure on the floor. This says 432, but as you can see, there are uh, wood skirting on both sides, when each of them is about 1.5 centimeters. So if we add that up, that will also be 435. And that's it. As you can see, leather traditional measuring tool and also the tape measure all get the same result. All right, let's take a look at the second main function of laser, the scale roller. The scale roller is ideally for short distance measuring, which is less than two meters. And you can use it to measure either straight lens, curves, compound surface with the normal ratio, or you can use the scale measure to measure any customized unit you want. First, let's take a look at the normal ratio. It supports millimeter, centimeter, inch, feet, units. And let's take a comparison between this and a traditional ruler in my hand. I will draw a line with 100 millimeter on this board. And let's see how measure perform to measure this distance. You can either save the data, translate it through Bluetooth to your smartphone, or just cancel to save the data. And next, let's take a look at the scale, uh, at the scale measuring. I will choose a 1-100 ratio today, here, with the scale ruler in my hand. The same, draw a line. Let me choose maybe 1 to 20. So this is 20 meters and 1, 100. And now I will switch this, the unit, to 1, 100. And measure the same length and see how it says.
this is in millimeter so when we switch it back to meter under one one hundred there is only four centimeters deviation and last but not least many people are curious about how to measure a compound surface now i have a mouse in my hand it's very difficult to take a look at what's the length between one end to another usually for this compound surface we're going to use a measuring tape like this and let's take a look from one side to the other it says 12 centimeters and let's use measure to take a look i switch it back to the normal ratio and let's see Eleven point ninety five. Wow, that's very accurate to be honest. This is the second function we have with measure. And in the next, I will show you how the 2D scanning works. Well, usually when you have 2D floor plan scanning requirement, you need to buy a very expensive professional tools. But with Miser's point scanner function, you can do it very high-end 2D floor plan scanning in a minute. Today, I'm going to use two accessories that comes with our export accessory toolkit. An aluminum tripod and an extension bar. Simply place matter on top of this extension bar. Turn on the point scanner. Now I'm taking the first point of this room. And then rotate and type to create lines and surface by taking other key points of this room. Now comes to window. Another one. Under this mode, I'm taking all the key points in this room to ensure the highest accuracy of floor plan scanning. And the last one. So now I'm going to save this floor plan drawing and transfer to my Mather F via Bluetooth. As you can see, now I'm opening a new project. And I'm going to click Bluetooth icon. Oop. It just transferred. I received a file. And you can see all the key points have been kept captured by Mather's point measure. And now I'm going to rotate this drawing to the position that I'd like to have. All right. Now I will choose this and switch it to window. This is a window towards the outside. And another window towards the outside. This is a flight window. It cannot be open. And this is a wall. This, I will leave it blank for now because we have another part of this room. I will scan that part and snap those two bars together to get an entire room floor plan. So now I will turn on point scanner. And by doing so, I can not only capture the room, but also the thickness of the wall. But I will start from the edge of wall inner part. 
as the first point. Okay. I'm going to save this drawing and transfer via Bluetooth. Now you can see the file is received. And let's take a closer look. All details has been captured. We must select all the lines and we will rotate it to the position we want. And then Snap it to the last room we have. A little bit of adjustment needed. To connect. And also this side. And now as you can see, we are uh, selecting this and choose this as an element. This is a door which is open to the outside like this and here we have another door by the other side here we go this door is open also outside in this way and well now we have the whole room floor plan captured let's take a look around the room here we have one door and another and a room here with a flight window that can't be open and two more windows one on this side and one on the other and as we said this floor pan can also be sent by bluetooth to our pc for further editing Today I'm going to show you how to transfer the floor plan. We will name this project uh, a small bedroom. Just like the small bedroom and transfer by email. Here we go. Okay, now it's well received in DXF format. We'll open it with a CAD file. And now you can see this one has been imported. Let's take a closer look at it. And now you may wonder how accurate is the floor plan scanning function 
Let's do it by simply drawing the lines between two walls and take a look. So if I draw a line between two walls, it shows this uh, 434.45 centimeters. And now let's take a look. What is the traditional measuring laser measure size? Let's take a look of the distance between two walls. It's again, it's also uh, 435.6 this time. So the distance deviation between our floor plan scanner and the laser measure is around 0 0.9 centimeter, which comes to around 0.002% deviation, which is super accurate, even compared to professional uh, floor plan scanner. And that's it. Thank you very much for following our video today. And I'm very happy to share more about Mazars functions and accuracy in the upcoming sessions.